Picturesque landscapes and historic allure are what comes to our mind when thinking of Rhode Island. However, there are still pockets where economic hardships, high crime rates, and other issues tarnish the living experience. Join us on this journey as we navigate the complexities of the worst places to live in Rhode Island. Number 10. Valley Falls In a town where crime rates are moderate and indicators like unemployment and poverty score well, the real estate market tells a different tale. Valley Falls grapples with the enigma of its median home value, resting at $239,000. Home values, often seen as a gauge of local desirability, convey a sentiment that places the city among the less sought-after places in Rhode Island. What further complicates the narrative is Valley Falls' median income of $83,090, positioning it as the 18th worst in the state. This income disparity, combined with perceptions of limited leisure activities, creates an environment where residents may find themselves yearning for both recreational and professional fulfillment. Moving on to the safety concerns. With an assault rate of 282.7 incidents for every 100,000 residents, the town contends with a noteworthy frequency of physical altercations. The murder 6.1 in 100,000 rate underscores the impact of tragic losses on the community. Every 40.7 in 100,000 residents might fall victim to rape, signaling a vulnerability to sexual assault, necessitating a careful examination of safety measures. Number 9. West Warwick. The town's violent crime rate rings alarm bells. With 54 reported cases of rape, murder, and aggravated assault, the numbers become significant when considering West Warwick's relatively modest population of 28,847. This statistic raises concerns about the safety of residents and highlights the need for a comprehensive approach to address underlying factors contributing to violent crime. 11.8% of West Warwick residents struggle to make ends meet, surpassing the state's average of 11.4%. Delving deeper into the demographics, 11.7% of high school graduates found themselves in poverty, contrasting sharply with the 33.8% of non-high school graduates facing economic challenges. Besides that, the rental landscape further emphasizes the economic disparities, with a striking 76.5% of poor residents opting for rental arrangements, underscoring their financial constraints. In stark contrast, 41.4% of residents with incomes above the poverty level chose to rent. These statistics highlight the need for targeted interventions and support systems to uplift vulnerable segments of the population. Number 8. Harrisville. Harrisville distinguishes itself in the less enviable category of crime rates, extending beyond the state norm and establishing a reputation as one of Rhode Island's less secure locales. Statistics reveal a community contending with a 6.1% unemployment rate, introducing economic uncertainty into the equation. Despite its modest size, Harrisville fails to emanate the charming ambiance often linked with petite towns. The median home value of $180,300 serves as a glaring indicator of the town's challenge in attracting potential homeowners. With crime rates casting a shadow over the community, and an unemployment rate surpassing the state average, Harrisville's allure might be hindered by concerns related to safety and economic stability. The city's economic difficulties are evident in its troubling statistics. A modest median income of $29,663 and a staggering poverty rate of 35.3% compound, the economic challenges confronting residents. Placing these figures against a median home value of $180,300, paints a vivid picture of a town where financial hardships are palpable, raising queries about the prospects for economic amelioration. Number 7. Pascug. If the name Pascug doesn't ring a bell, you're not alone. Despite potential outdoor attractions and a robust local economy, this town of 4,471 appears, quite literally, in the middle of nowhere. The absence of notable features or attractions prompts reflection on the town's visibility or lack thereof. Pasquag boasts a robust local economy with a median income of around $85,000 and a 4.4% unemployment rate. Still, it faces a paradox of economic prosperity tinged with challenges. The town, despite its strengths, 
contends with a concerning 6.6% unemployment rate, suggesting potential fragility in the local job market. Additionally, a notable amount of crime complicates the narrative, where economic success coexists with safety concerns. Number 6. Newport In 2023, Newport's population boasted a modest 25,156 residents. However, beneath the charming exterior lies a disconcerting truth. A violent crime rate of 2.11 incidents per 1,000 residents and a property crime rate of 16.62 per 1,000 residents. Besides, a stark contrast emerges between educational attainment and poverty. Among residents not living in families, 13.8% of high school graduates are dealing with poverty, a figure that surges to 39.6% for those without a high school diploma. Plus, 15.5% of Newport's residents found themselves hovering on the edge of poverty, a figure 26.5% higher than the state's overall poverty rate of 11.4%. Among disabled males, the poverty rate stands at 15.6%, while disabled females face a more significant challenge with a rate of 22.3%. Number 5. Chepeche. Nestled in the northwest part of Rhode Island, the quaint town of Chepeche, with its population of 1,691, may not be an obvious choice for those seeking an idyllic place to call home. Despite its diminutive size, Chepeche finds itself grappling with crime rates that are anything but small. The statistics reveal a startling 1 in 201 likelihood of violent crime and a 1 in 33.2 chance of falling victim to property crime. Furthermore, unemployment statistics in Chepeche seem to be shrouded in ambiguity. While the initial report suggests a commendable 0% unemployment rate, later figures paint a different picture, citing a concerning 4.1%. This discrepancy raises questions about the town's economic stability and the employment prospects for its residents. Number 4. Providence Providence, standing as the linchpin of Rhode Island, faces intricate economic dynamics, highlighted by a 7.5% unemployment rate. While the city boasts a median home value of $248,900, the economic pulse resonates in a median household income of $45,610, casting a financial shadow over its residents. Plus, poverty emerges as a formidable challenge, with a quarter of the population struggling beneath the poverty line. This reveals the multifaceted nature of the community's socioeconomic landscape. Providence contends with safety concerns, with its crime rate surpassing the national average by 40%. Despite its official status as the most challenging town in Rhode Island, it faces the second highest rate of violent crime, and takes the lead in property crime rates. With 294 crimes per square mile, anxieties simmer just below the bustling streets, a stark reminder of the challenges faced by communities within the city's embrace. Number 3. Pawtucket Pawtucket's economic struggle is marked by a 6.9% unemployment rate. This figure reflects the town's transition after bidding farewell to its minor league baseball affiliation. The ripple effect extends to the cost of living, tracking 10% above the national average. With a median home value of $228,500 and a median income of $56,427, residents navigate a delicate balance in the face of economic complexities. Moreover, safety concerns cast a shadow over Pawtucket earning it the designation as the third most dangerous place in Rhode Island. The odds of falling victim to property crimes or violence weigh heavily on residents, with a 1 in 38.2 chance of the former and a 1 in 223 chance of the latter. The city's crime rate at 185 per square mile is a stark departure from the state average of 32, illuminating urban realities that demand attention. Number 2. Woonsocket Woonsocket, with a population of 43,044, stands as a testament to diversity and community strength. However, the median home value of $208,400 places it in a category that requires a nuanced understanding. The juxtaposition of these figures offers an intricate portrayal of economic dynamics within the city, with an unemployment rate of 9.2%, 
Woonsocket faces its share of economic hurdles. The job market's challenges contribute to the broader issues the community is bearing, affecting the overall well-being of its residents. Job opportunities and financial stability play crucial roles in shaping the quality of life in any area. When discussing Woonsocket, crime statistics inevitably come into focus. Unfortunately, residents of this city contend with the ninth highest crime rates in Rhode Island. The incidence of property and violent crimes places Woonsocket in an uncomfortable position, with a 1 in 169 chance of being a victim of violence. Number 1. Central Falls Central Falls faces several economic hurdles, earning it a notable position on the list of Rhode Island cities facing challenges. With a population of 22,192, the town encounters a delicate balance of financial dynamics, characterized by a 24.9% poverty rate, a 9.3% unemployment rate, and a median income of $40,235. The economic challenges ripple through Central Falls' educational system, where schools often rank a 5 per 10 or lower on the great school scale. Additionally, the median home value, standing at $187,300, represents a significant obstacle for many low-income residents. Beyond that, the city's densely populated landscape sets the stage for urban struggles, with crime per square mile surpassing the state average by a factor of eight. With 422 violent crimes and 1,487 property crimes per 100,000 residents, the community undergoes multifaceted challenges that demand a comprehensive understanding. Rhode Island, with its undeniable charm and diverse communities, is not without its challenges. Economic struggles, high crime rates, and limited access to essential resources often characterize the worst places to live in the state. So, keep the name of these places in mind and think carefully before you decide to call one of them your new home.